I read a, I was going to say I read an article, but actually I only read the headline. And the reason I only read the headline was that the headline itself was nonsense. Uh, talking about something I came across in uh, a major national publication, a major international publication actually, in the last couple of days. We won't mention the publication in question to protect the guilty. Because what the headline said was, stress is unavoidable. Now we hear a lot about fake news these days. It's a phrase that's normally used to rubbish what someone else is saying, but boy, the headline, stress is unavoidable, really is fake news. Yeah, our lives are full of challenges. In fact, most of the time it feels like our lives are full of stress. But actually stress is just an automatic choice. It's an automatic hangover from evolution that we do to ourselves, not to keep ourselves on our toes, but to actually avoid the threats that our convoluted way of ordinarily and automatically thinking thinks are all around us. There were real threats 10 or 12,000 years ago. Tigers, lions, bears, things that would rip your head off, ensure that you couldn't make it through the day. And that's why we're built that way. We're actually built to make it through the day. But the point I'm making is that that is just a choice. Now, it's an automatic choice, as I've just said, but it is a choice nevertheless. Stress is absolutely and completely avoidable because it isn't there. It's like beauty. It's only in the mind of the beholder. If you think you're stressed, you're right. You are stressed because it is the thought that I'm stressed that triggers all the other responses that we feel in our body, that we feel in our gut, that we feel in our stomach, that we feel when we perspire or our mouth dries up because we have triggered all those various responses in the body as a result of making the choice. It doesn't matter how automatic the choice of stress is. It is just something we do when we're on autopilot. Now, if you don't do anything about your state of mind, you'll always be on autopilot. And generally speaking, you'll make the wrong choices about whether to be calm here in the moment and focused, or a little stressed, or just somewhere else completely. Some people's brains are missing in action. Our minds are often all over the place. But meditation disengages the autopilot. And the more you disengage the autopilot in meditation, the more your autopilot will begin to disengage when you need it to be set aside, to be put to one side, when you need to be in the zone or be in flow, when you need to be cool, calm and collected. And to be quite honest, it isn't so much a question of need. Wouldn't it be wonderful to be in flow and in the zone most of the time? Wouldn't it be wonderful to be cool, calm and collected as we sail through life, regardless of what life throws at us? That is the logical and guaranteed outcome of regular meditation. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee that you will experience that because you've got to go and do the work yourself. But wouldn't it be worth five or six minutes every morning? It's hardly really work at all. 